Hello world and welcome back, I'm Karhu the Great Bear of the North, and this once again is Louisiana Total War, the game of Empire Total War, where you take the Darth Maud and the state of Louisiana and attempt to take over the world. But anyways, over the last couple of episodes, we have taken over the Iroquois territory, built a school there, researched some things, and increased the... The, the profitability and the efficiency of my farms, and it is fantastic. What I also want to do is I want to take this army that's sitting right here in Cayuga and move them all the way up to Fort Sault Ste. Marie to take it because Sault Ste. Marie has a gold mine up there, literally a gold mine. And what I need to do is, um, well, I need to prevent the Cayuga from getting all uppity on me. So I figured, you know what, I've got a little bit of an army down here. So let's take this army, bring it up to Cayuga. It'll take a while, like four or five turns. But then once that happens, once I am actually up there and, and keeping them in check, then I can take my main army and attack Huron territory. Because that's the goal of this episode, take Huron territory. We'll see if it actually happens. I don't know. It's the game, right? Okay, another turn. Whoops, that's the wrong key. Another turn in the books. Um, nothing like absolutely nothing happened in between turns. So let's send these guys more and more up to Cayuga. How is Cayuga doing? Uh, resistance for an occupation 15. So, but they're, but they're 10. So, you know, I could theoretically take them out now, actually once, once this is done, once the governor's palace is done, actually next turn, I should be able to withdraw my entire army uh, from Cayuga, so I don't actually need this. Uh, they can continue to garrison New Orleans, because, um, building the Governor's Palace will give me plus three to repression in the region. And right now, my repression in the region is five. Wait, why is it only going to get it? It will soon give it to six, um, and then this will drop down a little bit, and, and things should be okay, that I can actually withdraw them before I could get my secondary army up there anyways. And if I need to, I can always just, you know, bring in some colonial militia or something like that just to keep the peace for a turn or two. So, we're actually a lot closer to attacking the Huron than I thought. Awesome. Awesome. I have now developed empiricism! Yes. The nation has made a considerable advance in their social or economic ideology, placing them temporarily one step ahead of their rivals. The belief that all human knowledge is gained through experience, and those aspects of life that cannot be directly experienced, must not exist. Boom. Building constructed in Governor's Palace, and Roger Leroux is still being successful in Huron Territory. But here's why empiricism is great. I can increase... My, I can go over to my college, increase that. I can develop... Ooh. If I develop four-field crop rotation, I can go to clearances, uh, which would be great. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go to physiocracy, which will increase my economy even further, even further, which will be absolutely wonderful. Now, can Cayuga... Can I remove my guys? I can almost remove my guys from Cayuga. Fact, if I... Get one colonial militia, take my army, move them, move them slightly out. Wait, do I not have infrastructure yet? You know, I do have roads. Why, my roads just go this way and this way. They don't, I don't actually have a road connecting Cayuga to Niagara. Interesting. Interesting. But anyways, I will move my guys up through French territory. I'll just move them right up there. And they're a little bit angry, but next turn that will drop down and this guy will come in and that should be able to quell them just enough. It should be perfectly, the perfectly. They won't be happy about it. Oh, they won't like it. Trust me. But they will, uh, they shouldn't revolt, which is always the goal, right? And then I can take Huron and it will be fantastic. Everything's coming up. Milhas. Okay. So I may have done the math a little bit wrong. The workers are on strike in Iroquois territory. Roger Leroux has a, success, has a successful mission, but there we go. There we go. Now everything is good. Resistance to foreign occupation is there. Um, it will go down over time. That is good. In fact, I'm going to recruit another. Can I recruit another dude? 
I'm going to recruit another colonial militia just to make sure that nothing goes sour over there. Fantastic. Getting... Oh, yeah, 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 I can increase. Oh, yeah, no, I'm already increasing that to a college. That's good. Let's move my guys up right there. And then we'll, we will declare war and attack Huron territory next turn. Fantastic. Because gold mine. And furs. Loving it. Loving it. Actually, before I do that, can I trade with anybody? No. No. Okay. Cool. One more turn, and then here on. Excellent. We have a governor's palace in Michigan territory. Quite nice. Yes, Roger LaRue is successful at what he does. Good for him. Um, let's bring that down. There we go. And just to double check, Cayuga is not on strike. Pardon me. And that is fantastic. Uh, we are growing slowly, slowly, but that's good. My school is increasing. Uh, okay, we'll do clamor for reform, which isn't good, which isn't good. But um, monies are good, trade is good, policies are good. Nobody's paying taxes, that's fine by me. Research, very, very close. I have lots of money, so you know what? I'm going to recruit another colonial militia. Just because I do not want them to go. Let's take my agent. Let's bring him up. Bring him right up there. To eventually convert the Huron. Away from animism. Towards Catholicism. And it will be great. So, Huron. Here's what's going to happen. If you do not give me... No. Uh, I don't want Northwest Territories. You will pay me. You will, I will demand two... Th I will demand 5,000 gold for each of the next... Uh, let's do 3,000 gold for each of the next five turns. And if you can't do that... Oh, I'm just going to demand it. Threaten. Yeah. So, about that. Yeah, you couldn't give me what I demanded, so... Oh, wait, they're allied with France. When on earth did that happen? No. No. Oh, that changes everything. That changes everything. Because I don't want France to go to war with me. But will they go to war with me? I mean, they're 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 my overlord. I don't I don't know. Um, oh, jeez. Um, okay. Uh, okay. No, you know what? I want that gold mine. I want that gold mine. <sighs> uh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I'll I'll call in my own ally. I'll call in my own allies. That should change things. I really hope I'm not shooting myself in the foot. Yeah. Here it goes. Okay, good. Good. I declared war on them, and I'm joined by both Cherokee and France, which is fine. Which is wonderful. So. I can breathe. There we go. Let's move in. There we go. I'm going to demand to surrender. No, of course they refused. But here's the thing. I'm going to continue the siege. Because I have an agent in there. And I want to see if I can't assassinate their their leader, their four-star general. Executive action in Success! Excellent! So they now don't have a general. So, if I were to attack them, that significantly increased my chances of winning. And you know what? I've got plenty of time left in this episode. Let's just do it. Let's take care on this turn. Right now. Oh, this would be great. This would be wonderful. Alright, excellent. I've got the main body of my troops right down here. My infantry. There, I've got my bowmen backed by some horses on the, the that side. I've got bowmen backed by some cavalry on that side. Um, just because these guys are a little bit thin, the irregulars. I've got them backed up by tribesmen. And I've got another cavalry in the middle. And my general's bodyguard is right here. 
Let's see where they are. Okay, they're actually all on many different sides. So let's... Can I close ranks on them? Who are they? They're armed tribesmen. Okay, let's do that. See if I can't get to them before they get to the rest of their troops. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen because they're running. They're, they're moving very, very quickly. Um, I am not because I don't want to deal with that. And they're also in the forest. So I actually want to meet them out on, on like this plane out here. Um, let's see, because if I can do that, that would be really, really good. Oh, they're running away. Okay, so they got the general's bodyguard, chief's bodyguard there. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. Let's just run headlong into the chief's bodyguard. Boom, smashy, smashy. And you guys also join the chief's bodyguard. Or, well, not join the chief's bodyguard, but join me in attacking the chief's bodyguard. And then they're winning slightly, they're being attacked in the flank. Boom. In fact, I'm going to take you, two guys, turn you into a, uh, a unit, like, merge the two units so I can deal with them all at once. Same thing with, oops, nope, not with you two. Just with you two, five. There we go. Let's bring you up into the party and then see if we can bring you guys back there. Okay, this isn't going particularly well, so let's do that. Let's retreat from that mass battle. Because even though they are shaken, they're still doing stuff. Whereas these guys, my, my, my cavalry over here, maybe I can turn things around and smash them. I don't know. Okay, oh, oh, check this out, check this out. They are wavering. They're under small arms fire, probably from my... from them. So you know what? Let's turn my cavalry around, strike at the armed tribesmen. See if that will do anything. Oh, there's the, there's the mass of the army. Okay, they're running away. So four, let's take out the armed tribesmen, see if that will work, which it should. Um, what's going on here? They're just moving around. Okay, good. The armed tribesmen are losing slightly. Now, I don't want to attack my cavalry full force into this because they will not do well with that. But in terms of these guys out here... Okay, that's good. That's good. Excellent. Losing slightly. You're getting, you're getting decimated. Um, okay, let's get, let's attack the bowmen. And start sweep, start rolling them up, kind of. Um, the bowmen are running away. That's fine by me, I really don't mind. There we go. Let's see how this works. There you go, you're broken, you're shattered. Uh, how, how... Oh my guys, I've got 49 and 62. Let's... Let's pull you guys back. Let's pull you guys back to there. And how's 5 doing? I've got 84, 83, and 89. There... I'm taking up some bowmen, a lot of bowmen. There we go, broken and shattered. That's Garrison Bowmen. Which are weaker than regular Bowmen. So, and, and both of my uh, cavalry in this particular unit are very, very good. I have a three, and I think that's a five rank unit. Yeah, that's good. Um... So there we go. You're shaking, you're wavering, and these guys are just going to get slaughtered. Okay. That's very, very good. Very, very good. Somebody wanna, I'm, I'm losing a little bit more men in here than I wanted. 
So, I just want to see if I can make break these guys, and then bail. Shaking. No, no, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Let's get out here and run. Run away! There we go. And if some of these guys follow, but not all of them, that would be great. Because then I can just turn around and then smash them. Yep, there we go. One group of them, the Garrison Native American Warriors, are following. No, nope, they're not. Okay. That's very good. Two of their units have already shattered. At least I think they're shattered as well. Yeah, they're shattered. Um, hmm. What do I want to do? Let's take my the main force of my troops. Let's line them up here. Let's get some bowmen up there. Let's get some more bowmen. And start enveloping these guys. Uh, and you will come in right back there. You will come in or Nope. You will come in right there. And my general's bodyguard will stay where they are, because I don't want them to get involved. Actually, more cavalry out here, just in case. And five, those cavalry will join them here, just in case. And then maybe I can attack the warriors as they're running away. In fact, you know what, let's go chase after them. Go chase after them. That'd be love. Oh, they're they're attacking. They're moving. Hmm. Does that bother me? I don't think it does, to be perfectly honest. Uh Where's who are these guys? You're just randomly moving this way? Oh, that's a weird formation. It's a very weird formation. Um, Alright. My cavalry is out there. Let's take out the bowmen. Shall we? Because these guys... Okay, the bowmen are in range. There we go. So you know what, cavalry? Just go go back up here. Go back to where you were. Dealing with... Actually, hide into the forest and then we'll deal with these guys because they're not doing a whole heck of a lot. Oh, they're already broken. Nice. And everybody run into your positions because the battle is going to be commencing. Let's get the bowmen up there. How's my other bowmen? Let's get my other bowmen up there. Actually, can I even get them? Oh, that's a hill. Interesting, I can completely block off the hill. Okay. General's bodyguard is breaking. No, no, they're just wavering. But let's see if I can't... Uh, get them to completely rout. Uh, you. Can we line up up there? That'd be nice, because then I can charge downhill. That'd be wonderful. Chief's bodyguard. So... Oh, there, there, there's a lot more dudes down here. Interesting. Let's... Actually, no. Let's not turn my cavalry up there. Or my bowmen. Or my bowmen. Let's get you up there. Deal with these guys first, and then move down into the valley. Whew, the First Nations are really good at sneaking. It, okay, in these games, I don't know if that's, you know, in general, but... They're very sneaky. People are breaking. Nobody's nobody's routing, though, which would be great. If everybody could get back to their positions, like pronto, that would be wonderful. We're wavering. There we go. Three white, where are you all weirdly? There we go. Native American warriors, meet my cavalry. There we go. 
four. Where's my cavalry on this side? Where's my cavalry on this side? Let's... There's a gap in the wall there. Let's smash them right through it. That'd be fun. I think. Um, let's get you, you 49, smash into the bowman from behind down there. Good. Running away, running away, breaking, breaking. That's very, very good. How are my cavalry units on this side doing? They've shattered them. They've 61-37? Okay. Get the warriors there. Nice. In fact, you know what? My main infantry isn't doing a lot, so let's move them up a little bit. There we go. You're shattered. Bowman, fine. Good. They're breaking. But are you shattered? Wavering, broken. Come on. Broken. Okay, they're 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 done. One of the they're shattered. Let's shatter them too. And this is there we go. This is the beginning of the end. Because you're shattered. There's only one of you left. You're shaking. You're about to die. Ooh, but so's my this cavalry is. There's only 14 of them left. Let's bring them back. There's six. Okay, I actually. That unit is shattering. Let's get them down there. Broken. Shattered. Broken. Shattered. So we'll get one. So, okay, they're shattered. Let's shatter them. They're shattered. They're broken. The Native American warriors are really good at fighting cavalry. Okay. Let's bring that cavalry back there will run as well these guys are all shattered 47 there they're broken you know what garrison warriors let's let's get them okay I have one unit of cavalry these guys that haven't even done anything yet so let's get them involved. Let's see if I can't uh, take these guys out. Okay. My cavalry are actually... Let's get them backed off down here. I don't want to lose them. You are broken, so attack them. Let's get the enemy bowmen, and then I can kind of work my way back around here and take it down everybody. Because these guys are... No, they're just running away. They're just running away in a line. That's good. They're not doing anything. Fantastic. Now, are you shattered yet? You're still broken. You're still broken. Come on, just shatter. Um... Okay, you, you, you've gone away. So, that's my bowmen are attacking them. You are also attacking them. There we go. How about you? Are you guys... You're still broken? Why aren't you shattered? Just take them out. Man, that's unfortunate. Some of these guys are really, really stubborn, you know? Oh, I just charged through my own guys. That wasn't cool. Yeah, you're broken! Yay! And now you're shattered. Okay. Now that cavalry will swing and go up through there. Take them out, because I think I've, they've only got like two or three units that are... that are available. Why? The... See, there's one thing I don't really understand about this game, is the chase mechanics. The mass of their guys are over here, but why, why were my guys just running that way? Like... I don't know. So this is really the only guys that they've got left. My cavalry taking them out. Oh, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. Huronia is mine. I'm the hero of, of Huronia or something. And they're broken. Army losses. 
Is that it? Is that it? Is there anybody left? Yay! End of battle. Boom! Heroic victory. Darn right. All right. I've lost 500 and my four and my just about 4,000 men, which is great. Killed. That they're, they're all gone. They're all gone. Uh, how about experience of three to four? Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. Uh, which was my best unit? Colonial Light Cavalry killed 339. Yeah, my cavalry are are great. In fact, actually, ratio. Uh, killed 205, only lost seven. Go native musketman auxiliary. Nice. So Huronio, Huronia is mine. Uh, region captured, and how much money is that making me? 425 in taxes. Woo! But you know what? I'm going to resist the taxes right now because I, uh... I serve the Lord's will. No, you serve my will. Um, because I want to develop my, my, my building and my region. Let's get some... There we go. Uh, I just developed my, my, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, the fur trading post up there. And what else did I want to do? I don't think there's anything else I can do. I'm going to... No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to repair my army. And uh, I'm just shy of building a road. So you know what? I'm going to remove that. And then I'm going to build the road. And everything will be fantastic. Good. So that was a good turn. That was a good turn. Because I now have lots of gold. Lots of gold. Yeah, that increased my income by about 1300 per turn. Although some of that might have been because my army is a little bit uh, decimated, a little bit hurt. So they do have to... Um, so my costs for up for keeping them up isn't as high. But you know what? That was still a great turn. So... I'm Karhu the uh, Great Episode. I'm Karhu the Great Bear of the North. If you like what we see, please link, please like, please subscribe, please comment, let me know what you think. It definitely helps. Every little thing helps. I'm still very, very new to this. Um, and I just want to say thank you to all the guys, to all of you that are commenting, that are watching through the entire episodes, that are putting up with me. Uh, it really is kind of awesome just seeing how everything has grown recently over the last couple months. It's, it's really cool. So thank you. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day, everybody.